Hello guys, welcome back to my Hive Game Drives! So here I am to show you all the 6 Mongol leaders that you can have boss fight battles in actual dual form. So I'm turning off my mic now and you sit back, relax and enjoy the bloody show. You're a liar and a coward. You deserve nothing less than death. I will take nothing less than your head. I am Jin Sakai, and I have killed men like you all across our island. Your blood has stopped the island! Careful, Tamuge. You can't get Kotun's reward if you're dead. A lucky blow! You will not get another! Tsushima now, and I might show you mercy. Yarikawa, well done!
men in many countries to me. But here, you die. Another pack of dogs. Altan, face judgment for your crimes. You cannot judge me. You murdered your own people. The Mamushi brothers and the Black Wolf are traitors. Is that your excuse? Your reason to become the ghost and kill? No wonder the Straw Hat Ryuzo turned on you. Enough! It's time to finish this.
Okay, so they are all the Mongol leaders that you can have dual to throughout the entire game. Though there are more leaders scattered throughout the Mongol occupied camps like this one. But the thing is, they are not given enough justice or importance like those 6 Mongol leaders we've seen earlier. Man, just think of this. There are other Mongol leaders that are using other different kinds of weapons like halberd, Dual, dual sword and what the fuck and <laughs> and great sword but they were not given the they were not given the chance to even be included on a boss fight or those those dual dual something battles like all of the six mongols we've battled earlier are all looking the same they they all look the same using only short sword and rounded shield the only difference is general tomuge using a way of the flame excluding general tomuge it seems like we just battled general dogger five times in a five fucking similar way well the combat is cool it's bloody but what i'm trying to say is they should have given the other weapon wielding mongol leaders had the chance to be an actual duel which also gives us a different challenge or strategy on how to beat this kind of mongol leader bosses while they're using different weapons than just shield and sword because if you have already familiarized or studied warlord dogger's move sets or attack sets attack types then you can easily beat the rest of the mongol leaders that you can have dual so that was just only my opinion being a hardcore gamer a vinyl gamer for a long time already it's, it's been really unusual to have boss fights in a very similar way it's like repetitive boss so anyway guys thank you very much for watching and listening to my speech opinions and for you may your soul rest in peace goodbye thank you for watching guys I love you So guys please subscribe on my channel and see more of my videos exclusive of Ghost of Tsushima. Thank you for watching again and sayonara.